16th chapter from the gateless gate from the book zen flesh zen bones written by paul reps bells and ropes umon asked the world is such a wide world why do you answer a bell and don ceremonial ropes Swami Vivekananda was sitting under the tree and smoking a cigarette. Immediately all the disciples came around him and he asked them, I know why you all came. Just half an hour back I took a lecture telling you on your path to sannyas you shouldn't smoke, you shouldn't drink. and within half an hour you have seen me smoking under the tree <laughs> the all the disciples said how do you read my our mind we actually came to ask you the same question so swami vivekananda said when a plant is small it needs fencing otherwise cows and other cattle come and eat it up a fence is very important to make the plant become a tree once it become a tree the fence has got no use likewise you are a small plant so you need the fencing the world is such a wide world why do you answer a bell and don ceremonial robes yes you have been taught to hear the bell and wear ceremonial dress that is when you are a school child once you understand your samskriti understand your culture then there is no need 12 years under the master this boy practiced and of course all the zen master students after 12 years must leave to find their own path on the 12th year the master called the boy disciple and said climb the tree the plant which you planted when you first entered this temple now it has grown to such a big tree This is your test before you leave me climb the tree the disciple started climbing the tree and they turned around and looked and the master said little more little more till he reached on the top there is no more space to climb and then the wind came and it started shaking from right to left he turned back and said master and master said one more step ahead one more step he screamed back the disciple screamed back back master said now leave both the legs he said what he said both the hands also and step one more step ahead <laughs> till now you are clinging to me with both the legs and both the hands 12 years i have made you to understand every part of your body i have taught you when you have cold you go to your doctor the cold will go in one week's time if you don't go to the doctor it'll go in 7 days time you have your resistance power i taught you pranayama if you breathe from close the right nostril and breathe from the left nostril your headache will go if you close the left nostril and breathe from the right nostril for 5 minutes your cold your cold will go you become powerful and you close the right nostril from the left nostril if you breathe for 5 minutes your headache will go like that many many things i have been teaching you now it is time you have to empty everything everything you have to empty what you studied hence i said leave both legs and both hands the world is such a wide world why do you answer a bell and don ceremonial robes why do you cling on to your father and mother for their property now you have passed your degree your post graduation now you have to leave both hands and both legs without disturbing them without asking their property can you create a much bigger property <laughs> when you create that it becomes you become so powerful their property becomes smaller but it has got its juice in it the world is such a wide world why do you answer a bell and don ceremonial robes now the bell you do not shiver the bell is a bell for you to hold you to do your examination and all the children have been taught every day to go do the homework it means every what thing one thing what the teacher has taught you have to examine that and that is called your examination and once you examine that 
when the major examination come you do not have to examine because you know the answer before it strikes without thinking answer flows without thinking you my child one one of my student who got married recently was sent was given a beautiful room in a renaissance hotel it might be five star or seven star hotel by one of the guests for a honeymoon such a posh one they were shocked i said nothing to get shocked he was sent to a hotel with 500000 rooms they have been able to maintain so beautifully and it is your observation power that if they can maintain can you maintain when you come back to your house in if they can maintain they ate from the mouth and they went to the toilet the same what you have done it can you do it back into your house that is observation then you do not have to answer to the bell and don ceremonial robes just to satisfy somebody because you have done it you have understood a house a culture of the house the culture of the people is known by the way they treat the animals said mahatma the culture of the family is known by the way they train their children on electric electrical plumbing sanitary painting masonry they do it together these are the five feel smell taste touch and see if they know they can go, go any part of the world they do not have to fear they do not have to beg for any job woman asks the world is such a wide world why do you answer a bell and don ceremonial ropes